Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, checking out some hazy double IPA that I picked up on Beer Dome. So, thanks a ton to Beer Dome for the beer. You might hear some kitty noises in the back today because the girls are in the living room playing, but we're still going to see if we can shoot a video without too much crying. So, we're drinking a can of Equilibrium and Parish Ghost in the Laboratory. So, this is a combination of two quite acclaimed beers from both Equilibrium and Parish. I've had the Double Dry Hub Ghost in the Machine, which is amazing. Um, again, I'm a little bit hazed out, but this looks like it's going to be a bright juice bomb, which is my kind of IPA these days. Whilst I think like more classic old school Equilibrium have been very like big on the tropical juicy esters from yeast, but I haven't drunk Equilibrium in a very long time. I know, I think they also do some more bright, uh, you know, hazies, but yeah, again, I haven't touched Equilibrium in so long. Uh, even though it's been over here a lot, but that's I think it's because I, in general I haven't really checked out much haze because I've been a bit hazed out. But since they got this collab, I thought I should check it out. It's not the freshest can. I think it's from the end of July, but it's got a load of hops in it, so it's still probably going to be good. Um, so it's called Ghost in the Laboratory. It's a combination of Equilibrium's Straight Out of the Laboratory and Parrish's Double Dry Hub Ghost in the Machine. It's 8.5% hazy double IPA. And we got some info here from their Instagram where it says they use a mash bill from straight out of the laboratory and goes in the machine. So they combine the mash bills and then they used a massive dose of CO2 extract, which I think is CO2 hop extract, which you usually use for like bittering. Uh, then Citra Incognito and Citra T90's hot side. And then they use an insane amount of Citra Lupamax and Citra T90 for the double dry hop. And it's one of the heaviest dry hops in the history of this brewery. So it's all Citra. That's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, Citra is also a lovely hop. So it says it's uh, got, they say it's tropical nectar aromas, mango, saturated smoothie nuances, orange juice, dank, you know, rainbow melon creamsicle. That's an interesting tasting though. But let's check it out. So it pours a bright saturated looking hazy color. It's very pin bright yellow. There's a little bit of orange hue. I got a, some floaties in my glass, but I also got the last pour. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks like a juice bomb. It looks nice. Let's check it out. It smells pretty good. I mean, you can smell there's a little bit of age on it, so it's not as vibrant and singy, but you can smell that when this was dead fresh, it must have been like a massive, like dank citra bomb. There's still some dankness hanging around and there's still some bright tropical fruit, like pineapple, cysty lime and stuff like that, but but it's not as jumping out of you, out of the glass. It also feels like it has that bite of saturation because like or hop burn, some people also call it, uh, often with these beers that are highly saturated, but where they have such good process, you don't really necessarily get a big hop burn. You just get more of like a, a, a feeling of that saturation digging into your tongue because of all the polyphenols that bite a little bit, more so than burn going down as you do when you have hop burn. But yeah, lots of pineapple, lots of tropical, bright tropical fruit, a little bit of almost like starburst candy and I can see the melon notes they talk about, but I don't know about rainbow, whatever they call it. Rainbow melon, what? Rainbow melon creamsicle. <laughs> it smells really nice though. Let's try it. Cheers and thanks to Beardum for the beer. I mean, all things considered, this is holding up fairly well, but you can taste this has been an insane banger when this was fresh. Um, because the, the, like that explosion of flavor it's, it's, it's still somewhat explosive, but it's t dialed back. And that's just due to freshness. Um, but loads of dank, bright citra still around. Bright tropical fruit, like zesty lime and pineapple, uh, like almost like a biting sensation you can get of pineapple. And also, I've talked about this a couple times, um, Monstera Deliciosa, which is like a tropical fruit that tastes a bit like pineapple mashed up with like, gu uh, not guava. I can't remember whatever the, the other fruit name, but it's kind of like consistency of like custard or something like that almost. Like it's very chewy, chewy, almost like banana. It looks like a banana mixed with like a pine cone or something. And then uh, it's like extremely tropical and very like bright, but also it bites a bit, kind of like a pineapple. But there's elements of that. There's definitely that Starburst kind of candy yeast profile too, which I think equilibrium is quite known for having like a candy like overripe yeast profile and i think that's somewhat also what i remember and still there there's a nice soft bitterness it's not like overdone but there's a bitterness to it as well it's not necessarily just like polyphenol bite because you can feel that on the back of the tongue like a little bit of a peppery herbal note 
um, yeah, zesty, bright, dank, weedy, and then those tropical flavors, which is like the brighter tropical uh, fruits like pineapple, a little bit of passion fruit, some lime, zestiness as well. And there's a bit of melon, overripe melon character, which I think is yeast as well. It's quite nice. It's really good considering the age. And I'm hazed out, but I can taste that this is the kind of hazy I like because it's not over overly sweet. It's got dryness. It's got a little bit of bitterness. And it's not like just like fatty sweet juice, which is nice. Uh, really good considering this is two months plus old. I bet when this was dead fresh, this was really, really, really dope. Um, yeah, so in terms of a grade, if I'm drinking haze, this is the kind of haze I want. Probably like a 90 to 92. Um, it's really good. There's even a bit of grapefruit to it. And then a bit of herbal notes like Thai basil or something like that. Um, it's nice. Yeah, this is the kind of haze I want if I'm drinking haze. But I think I would have loved it more if it was fresher. Uh, so that's all. But I, it's worth a shot for sure. It's in Europe now, which is awesome. So if you want to try it. Beardome is your jam. I still think they have some left, so check them out uh, if you want to try it. So yeah, 1992 ish for Equilibrium and Paris Ghost in the Laboratory with about two months of age on it. I, I mean, it's still got a bite, so I imagine when it was dead fresh, it would be intense. Uh, but yeah, if you guys had a chance to try this one, let me know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up. Enjoy it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos, and I'm going to say cheers! And get ready to go to a mercenary show and let's do some metal in a minute. Cheers. Gotta get to the kids now. <laughs>